And also, let's talk about uh, Kate Middleton and the the gaslighting and the bullshit people are doing online in service of a possible, um, what do you call that? A possible, uh, what's that called? A possible, when someone's guilty, a possible suspect, thank you, thank you, possible suspect. They're like, I know facts. Meanwhile, the last video was AI. Not only, I mean, I looked at it and saw the stupid eyebrows doing weird stuff in the jaw. Somebody else noticed the fucking bench. The, if you look at the bench slats, the wooden things, they're different sizes. Oh shit, I just crossed the, the fucking, sorry. I just, uh, just crossed the street. I'm halfway in, halfway out. I don't mean to do that. Um, traffic in LA sucks. So yeah, the slats are all fucked up besides the background being blurred out. But again, the fact that these MFs think it's cool to have five to six fake images and then bitch when people are questioning it, it's not right. It's called gaslighting. I mean, I, for, let me tell you a story. I kind of told this on one of my Tory Lanez cases, uh, videos a while back, but everyone doesn't watch my videos, so I'm gonna tell you the story about gaslighting. So I was, I had a friend I knew for three years, right? We used to work out together. And then at the end of the three years, it was weird because I didn't know if we were, if we liked it, like if we both liked each other, I felt, like I liked him, but I wasn't really ready to say anything because I thought um, I didn't want to be pushy or anything. And I thought, you know, a man should, I mean, this is horrible. A man should be a man and he should, if he wants to ask me out or something, he should ask, but whatever. So anyway, one day <laughs> we were in my hammock and he made a move, right? It was a really cool move. Um, but for I don't know how long it lasted for a couple of months it was like great well I don't want to say great because it all depends on what levels we're talking about but it was very passionate right we knew each other for three years and I'd been celibate for a very long time so getting to the point at a, at, he didn't tell me that he was in a relationship and that he'd been married before. I've never been married. Close, but never said yes, right? And I found out in a really fucked up way because one of his friends and him got into an argument. So his friend decided to put him on blast by saying, oh, why don't you tell Kat that you've been married and why don't you tell Kat you live with someone? It was really fucked up. And the, and the, the weird thing was the guy that did it he didn't even remember because he does so much drugs that he didn't even remember that he did it, right? So it was really, really fucked up on so many levels. So when I confronted the guy, I was like, how come you didn't tell me you were in a relationship? And he was like, you should have looked at my Facebook. That's gaslighting. Instead of taking responsibility for your shit, you blame the other person, all right? So that's what this guy did. It was my fault that I didn't look at his Facebook page. I'm not on Facebook, by the way, that I didn't know that he was in a relationship. That's gaslighting. So to get back to William, Big Willie, he's put out these fucking photographs. They're fake. The videos are fake. Even talking about it makes me you know, upset, which is exactly what a malignant narcissist is going to do. Their job is to make you feel you're wrong, you're crazy, um, they're right, they have the right to abuse you, that kind of shit. So this motherfucker has put out at least five to six fake photos and videos. All of them fake. Even the one, you know, the one where the girl's walking and supposedly shopping, carrying bags, even though she had 
a hysterectomy or some abdominal surgery. But people don't even notice. Besides her not being Kate and her being an impersonator, there's Christmas uh, ornaments hanging towards the last like building that she walks by, right? But each photograph, if you are an observant human being, you're going to see tells that it's fake. And again, the last one, the video where she says she has cancer, is fake. My question is, everyone's like, online, they play games with Catherine, Kate, you know, call her Catherine, which is, I think these are bots, because they're so malignantly obnoxious. That's not the question. That's not what's important. What the important thing you should be asking, not Catherine or Kate, is this, is Kate Middleton alive? Is she okay? The other question is why would a sane person put out not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six fake images in the last month and a half? unless they were covering up something. Like how dumb are people to think this is normal? If you think what's going on right now is normal, then you, you need help. And you need to like start thinking about what you're doing in your life. And I said this on Twitter earlier today. If you spend your time watching Netflix and watching YouTube videos about murder and and uh, horror and all this and crime but when it happens in your face and you're not even paying attention you're living in a fantasy land so all I'm trying to say is because I hope Kate's okay I really do I don't but the sad thing is I do not I don't think she is I really don't because if she was she wouldn't allow her image to be tarnished. And then also William blamed her multiple times in those fake photograph things, the one with the kids. He said she she did the Photoshop and then even that turned out to be fake. So he still blames her with fake AI photographs. That we know it's not, Kate didn't do that. Believe me, if, if, if a person was really sick with cancer, they wouldn't have time to make fake photographs. And this reminds me of that Gabby Pateau, if I'm saying her name right, case where her and her boyfriend go on a trip in her van. He comes back without her and, and her parents are asking, well, where's Gabby? And he doesn't answer and his parents that he lives with don't tell them and it turns out that he killed her. This is giving me that vibe. I hope I'm totally wrong, I, I, you know. I have no problem with being wrong because I want the best for people. I want her to be safe. I, what I'm trying to tell you is you guys are really naive if you think it's normal what William and that royal family is doing with Kate Middleton. All I can say is if you put yourself, if you were, if your husband has been known to drink and there's videos of him teeter tottering back and forth and there's video of uh, let's say there's testimony by his brother that he is physically abusive and that uh, there's testimony by others that Kate and and William have a very volatile yelling relationship if all that was happening and you ignore that but again, let me, let me make it for you because most people, the only way they can have empathy for other human beings if it's about them. So let's say you're in a relationship and your partner is abusive and he will not let you go. He will not let you leave the house. I actually had a friend. Wow, I just remember this shit. I had a friend who, she's in one of my acting classes a long time ago. And um, she dated this guy and she moved, she let him move into her apartment in Armenia town and she lived close to me. And we had another mutual friend and we were supposed to do something. We were supposed to like 
we're just, it was some holiday was going on. It was like a four day weekend or something. And we're just like, we were like, hey, let's do something. So I called the mutual friend. I'm like, hey, let's contact Judy and, um, you know, hang out. So I called Judy and she sounded really weird. You know, if you're an empath or you're a person who's just human, who, who can feel when things aren't right, you know. And our other friend called her too and said, oh my gosh, there's something's wrong. So me and the other friend, we went over to Judy's apartment. Judy was drunk and uh, we knew something was wrong and we were like, hey, let's, let's just get out of here. Let's, let's go. And she's like, I can't. I mean, she told us eventually, right? Cause she was embarrassed. But she's like, she ends up telling us her boyfriend had taken the keys to her apartment that he was staying at and the, the uh, management wasn't gonna be in town over the weekend. So if she left the apartment, she couldn't get back in. So what was horrible on top of that was her boyfriend at the time had come on to both me and our other mutual friend and we had tried to warn her. We told her the truth. We're like, look, your boyfriend is like coming on to us and we're not, we're not, you know, we're not doing that. You know what I mean? She didn't believe us. She's like, oh, you guys are just jealous because he loves me and all this other crap. But our friend was a drunk, we found out, but regardless. But the, the, the hilarious thing is, even though I'm a scorpion, as an adult woman, I never cheated on one of my girlfriends, with one of my girlfriend's boyfriends. You know what I'm saying? It happened once in college. Well, they weren't dating anymore, but I did it once and I felt so bad. I was like, that's not me, you know what I mean? So all I'm trying to say is as an adult, and since living in, in uh, LA, Never. I don't. I don't. I don't cheat. I don't. I'm, it's not my thing. It's not how. It's not how I roll. But the other thing about me, though, is if I tell a friend the truth, and they don't believe me, and they blame me, our friendship is over. That's how I get down. So let's get back to Kate and Willie. So, in my mind, based on my history, and then also looking at psychopathic narcissists, malignant narcissists and serial killers, it's not looking really good. And also, where are the kids? Has anyone seen the kids in 90 days? There's all kinds of rumors about Thomas Kingston because he used to date Pippa and he might've had a relationship with uh, Kate. I don't, I don't know, honestly. I have no idea. I, for all we know, Thomas could have been involved with, with what's his face, uh, William. Who the hell knows? But my biggest concern is where the hell is Kate? Is she okay? Is she alive? Did William lose his temper and something bad happened? And why are they covering it up? That's what I want to know. All right? So this is Kat. Thank you for listening. I'm going to pay more attention to me driving because I got to go to this, this studio and get here safe. I didn't get on the freeway. There's a there's a side parallel street that I'm taking that makes it a lot easier instead of crossing like six lanes to make an exit. If you know Barham, you know in LA. But yeah, leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Um, if you want, send a super thanks. I wish you could see how beautiful it is. I don't, I don't think you can really. I'll turn it around real quick. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, I'm going to stop. Thanks. You guys have a great day. And, yeah, use discernment and deductive reasoning skills. Look at people's behavior. You know what I'm saying? Don't be so naive. Because sometimes when you listen to your instincts and, you, and you're looking, like, rationally, it could possibly save your life. And I just feel like there's all these people online that are trying to be all like against Megan and bringing up Megan. What the fuck does Megan have to do with Kate Middleton missing for 90 days?
keep Megan's mouth, name out of your mouth. We're concerned about if is Kate alive or not. We women have to like look out for each other and protect each other and notice the signs of abuse. No more fairy tales. You understand what I'm saying? Life is life. There is no Prince Charming. There's real people with real issues and you have issues, but a really good loving relationship, you don't put your partner, you don't throw them under the bus. You don't blame them if they have cancer, that they edited film or video or photographs, whatever. You don't do that. If my partner had cancer and they had to tell the world they had cancer, I would sit there holding their hands and possibly crying, but I'd be there for them. That's love. That's not fake. That's not bullshit. It's love. I don't know if these people are capable of real love because everything's duty and for the firm and I mean, his dad is fucking King Charles and his stepmother, the evil stepmother is Camilla. I'd be a psychopath if I had that shit. But anyway, sorry, <laughs> I digress. Let me get off this. Bye.